Did you know that Indonesia is becoming an EV powerhouse? And it's happening faster than people realize. From nickel for batteries to EV factories and new charging stations, Indonesia is stepping into the future. If you watched my last video, you already know that Indonesia is changing from an exporter of raw materials to being a manufacturing power. In fact, Indonesia's booming EV industry is turning energy self-reliance from a dream into a plan. Electric vehicles could change the entire game for this country so that it can break free from imported fuel once and for all. The world is shifting toward electric vehicles. Some countries talk about the transition. Some are still just thinking about it like it's something way off in the future. And then there are a few countries like Indonesia that are rolling up their sleeves and getting it done. Yeah, Indonesia is positioning itself to become one of the most important EV players in all of Asia, and maybe in the whole world. Hi, I'm Kate, and it still amazes me how this country keeps surprising people who underestimate it. When I first came here in the early 1980s, the idea of Indonesia building a globally competitive electric vehicle industry would have sounded like fantasy, basically. But now, it's becoming reality right in front of our eyes. Let's start with the biggest advantage Indonesia has. Something every EV battery in the world needs. Nickel. Indonesia is the largest producer of nickel on this whole planet. And nickel isn't just any old metal. It's one of the essential ingredients for making EV batteries. Without nickel, you cannot build long range electric cars. Tesla needs it. The Chinese company BYD needs it. Hyundai, Toyota, you name it. They all need nickel. And Indonesia just happens to be sitting on some of the richest nickel deposits in the entire world. Now, what makes Indonesia unique is that it's not just exporting nickel any longer. I've already told you about that. For decades, Indonesia just exported resources and let other countries make the high value products. But today, that's all changing. Indonesia is insisting no more exporting raw materials. Let's build the industries right here. That one policy shift, mm, stopping the export of raw nickel and requiring domestic processing, that has changed everything. Suddenly, global companies that used to buy Indonesian nickel were forced to come here and invest in smelters, factories, and downstream industries. That means jobs, technology transfer, and billions of dollars staying inside Indonesia instead of going overseas. You can already see the results. Nickel smelters and battery production plants are popping up across Sulawesi and Kalimantan and Indonesia now has one of the most complete EV supply chains in Asia. Other countries have a piece of the EV industry, just a piece. Maybe cars, maybe batteries, maybe charging infrastructure. But Indonesia wants to have it all in one place. And honestly, it's working. But that's only the beginning. Let's talk about actual EV production. 
Hyundai has already started producing electric cars in Indonesia. And I do not mean just assembling them. Nope. They are actually building them here. Two of the Hyundai's most popular electric vehicles are on Indonesian streets right now. And where are they being made? Yeah, right here in West Java. China's Wuling has also been incredibly successful producing affordable EVs like the Air EV and the Bingguo right here in Indonesia as well. And more brands, <laughs> more brands are on the way. Indonesia has made it very clear. If you want to sell electric vehicles in Indonesia, you need to manufacture them in Indonesia. But this country isn't just a consumer market, it's a future manufacturing powerhouse. Indonesia has something every automaker dreams of, a huge workforce. That means millions of potential skilled workers for factories, battery plants, research labs, supply chain operations, everything. Companies like Hyundai, Wuling, and BYD aren't here by accident. They know Indonesia has the talent, the youth, and the numbers to support long-term industrial growth. In fact, they know that with access to raw materials, expanding industrial zones, and an enormous labor pool, Indonesia is perfectly positioned to produce not just for itself, but for the entire Southeast Asia region and even beyond. And here's the part I really love. When Indonesia grows its EV industry, Ordinary Indonesians benefit directly. These new factories and battery plants don't just bring shiny buildings and big foreign logos. They bring jobs, good jobs, stable jobs. Jobs that allow young people to build careers, support families, and move into the middle class. When thousands of Indonesians are assembling EVs, producing nickel batteries, managing logistics, doing engineering, welding, coding, quality control, the entire economic ladder becomes stronger. And as incomes rise, so does spending power which boosts local businesses, creates even more jobs, and keeps the whole economy moving. This is how a country grows from the inside out, by giving its people real opportunities to thrive. But, and here's a big but, what good is an electric car if you don't have anywhere to charge it? Well, that's another area where Indonesia is making huge progress. When I first saw EVs appearing uh, some years ago, I don't remember exactly when, I wondered how people would charge them if they weren't inside a big city. But now, charging stations are slowly, very slowly, but very steadily being installed all across Java, Bali, Sumatra, Kalimantan, and Sulawesi. PLN has committed to building thousands of new charging points, and private companies are joining the race. Indonesia may not have the same density of chargers as Europe or China yet, but the foundation is growing rapidly. And there's another aspect that most people never think about, the electricity itself. What's the point of buying an EV if the electricity comes mostly from fossil fuels? Well, here's where Indonesia's 
bigger energy picture becomes even more interesting. Indonesia has massive geothermal reserves, the second largest in the world. It has enormous hydropower potential, especially in Papua and Kalimantan, and plenty of sunshine, wind, and ocean wave energy. Yeah, Indonesia has enough energy resources that the future of EVs in Indonesia could eventually be powered by clean, local energy, not imported oil. Think about that for a moment. If Indonesia switches to electric vehicles powered by domestically generated electricity, the country will no longer need to import as much oil. And oil imports are one of the biggest expenses that the government has. Much of the oil Indonesia buys today comes from a global market full of price volatility, geopolitics, and currency risk. But electricity made from geothermal heat under your feet or from the sun shining overhead, that energy is local, stable, and sustainable. It won't run out. And here's something really special about Indonesia's EV movement. EVs are not just for the wealthy. Wuling is producing affordable models. PLN is converting motorbikes from petrol to electric for much cheaper than buying a new one. Local innovators are creating small EVs for short distance travel. Even rural areas are exploring electric motorbikes for delivery services. This shift is definitely touching daily life, not just luxury buyers. Now, of course, I'm not saying everything is perfect. Uh -uh. The EV industry faces challenges. The charging infrastructure still needs a lot more expansion. Battery recycling isn't widespread yet, and some Indonesians worry about the price of EVs or the lifespan of the batteries. You know, that's normal. Transitioning from old technology to new technology always brings complications. What matters is momentum, and Indonesia has strong momentum right now. Another big advantage is Indonesia's population, like I mentioned in a previous video. With more than 285 million people, the country has a massive domestic market. That means companies don't need to rely only on exports to survive. If just 10% of Indonesians switch over to EVs in the next decade, that's already millions of vehicles, enough to support dozens of factories, suppliers, and service industries. No other country in Southeast Asia offers this kind of internal demand. Indonesia is also positioning itself as a global EV battery hub. Indonesia is working toward developing its own national battery brand through an organization called the Indonesia Battery Corporation. Imagine an Indonesian-made battery with its own brand, powering cars on multiple continents. That'll happen one day. It's going to be a reality. And then let's talk about tourism as well. Bali is already pushing toward becoming an EV-friendly island. Imagine all taxis, motorbikes, rental cars, all running on electricity. Imagine the wonderful improvement in noise and air quality. Bali could be the showcase of Indonesia's clean energy movement. But the transformation, the real transformation, is long-term. Over the next 10 to 20 years, 
Indonesia has the opportunity to reduce oil imports substantially, build new industries that pay higher salaries, clean up air pollution in big cities like Jakarta and Surabaya, and become a leader in Asia's energy transition. When I first arrived in Indonesia decades ago, the roads were full of old buses spewing out black smoke. Now I see charging stations, silent EVs, and big industrial zones making batteries. And I realize that Indonesia is stepping into the future faster than many other countries and faster than most people realize. So will Indonesia become a major EV powerhouse? I think it will. All the ingredients are ready. The raw materials, the factories, the market, government support, and the entrepreneurial spirit. The future is electric. And Indonesia is not just joining the movement, it's helping to shape it. And honestly, I can't wait to see what the next decade brings. So thanks very much for joining me today. I love seeing how Indonesia keeps evolving and the EV industry is one of the most exciting transformations yet. It really shows how resource rich, innovative and forward thinking this country is. If you enjoyed this uh, conversation, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more friendly chats about life and progress in Indonesia. Bye for now. See you in the next video.